Hi, I'm fingerstyle guitarist David Youngman, and uh, today I'm starting a series of video lessons uh, on different guitar techniques, some exercises that I've come up with or modified uh, through working with students I've had. And I decided to start this weekly um, lesson thing based off of uh, uh, the only other lesson video that I've done, which was on controlling uh, squeaks from sliding your, your hand up and down the neck and, and how with your technique you can control that. So I'll have a, a link below or somewhere on the screen here, uh, like everybody always does. Uh, but today, this first lesson in this series that I wanted to address uh, was the hand stability in the right hand. So uh, a common problem is when we're plucking, jump all around or we're using the arm to pluck especially with that ring finger and when it moves around too much uh, it's hard to play fluidly and efficiently uh, or if you need to play with more speed it's harder to do that when your arm is moving all over so I came up with this exercise and it's re really hard to do I have not mastered it but uh, most of the time I just show it to my students in a lesson uh, just so they have a visual uh, of understanding of only moving from the, the knuckle joints and letting everything else stay at rest. So uh, the first step uh, is just to take a light ball. Uh, you know, you could have a ping pong ball. This is a ball from uh, my kids, one of their toys. Uh, and then I set it on, on my knuckle. There's kind of a little uh, dip here in my hand, and it seems like most other people have that too, so uh, I'm assuming it work, will work for most of you. Uh, so I can place that ball there, and then I just try to balance it there, and I start moving my fingers and thumb and trying to move from the knuckle joints. And uh, what this does is it allows me to I, I focus on balancing the ball mainly while wiggling my fingers and uh, this way I don't have to think so technically about how to move my hands and stabilizing everything. Uh, you know, for me and for my students uh, it gives you kind of something, something uh, simpler to think about. So then on the guitar we can take this to the guitar. We lay it flat here I've got my left leg up on a footrest, just so I can get the neck up, uh, so the guitar is pretty flat. And uh, so we put that ball on here, and I might drop it here. Sometimes it usually takes me a couple of tries uh, to get it set. Let's see if I can do it here. So I got my hand set on the strings, and then I just start with an arpeggio. See, I told you. <laughs> I'll see if I can get it here again and just see if I can work up my speed a little bit. Get the guitar angled a little better. Uh, I could do like a tremolo. Okay, so you get the idea. Um, this isn't something I practice regularly uh, just because I've developed uh, pretty good stability uh, through other methods, but I came up with this mainly just to uh, give students a visual uh, for understanding. There is kind of one problem when you bring it to the guitar. Uh, it, it kind of affects your finger motion a little bit. It makes you have to arch your fingers just a little bit, unless you take a long time getting the guitar set up right. Uh, but the main idea is developing that stability, uh, and really almost just doing this in the air uh, can do a lot for your playing. So, hope that helps. Uh, please leave comments, uh, suggestions, and thoughts uh, if you think this is helpful or not. And uh, I'll keep putting out new videos each week. 
uh, please subscribe if you want to receive these uh, updates each week.